Hey folks, it's time again to review what happened in the North Okanagan real estate market for February of 2023 and we are starting now. I'm Lisa Salt with Remax Vernon Salt Baller with the latest info on Greater Vernon and the North Okanagan's real estate results. Let's look at the real estate stats for February, second month of the year. Weather has been kind of crap, which never bodes well with huge real estate sales results, of course. And as you will see, like the weather, the sales are kind of cold. Last month, sales for January 2023 were 64, which kind of sucked. This month's sales were up, up to 108, which although up from January of this year, down from February last year by 45%. Sales last year were 193. Kind of to be expected, buyer's market and all that. At least we have to be grateful. We obtained triple digit sales for February, unlike January or last December, which was only double digits. December sales were only 68. Slight improvement. Let's move on from that and look at the inventory. How does what is currently on the market now in February compare to January? Total homes on the market end of February was 837, up marginally from the 815 that was on the market month end January 2023. So a little bit more extra choice for buyers, not a ton, but a little bit. Now, what does this all mean to you, whether you're a buyer or a seller? I'm gonna tell you shortly. However, before I do, if you're interested in more info on what's happening in the market or on Vernon in general, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and like this video as we're posting new videos every single week. On this channel, we give you the straight goods on Vernon and the whole Okanagan, our ultimate Four Seasons paradise. Whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days or just curious about the area that we call home, be sure to call, text or email and just add salt. Continuing on, there's been a bunch of changes in BC and Canada lately and all these changes are affecting our real estate market. I don't mean just like interest rates, things like the Canadian foreign buyer ban. You can watch our video here about the ban. And if you're in a market that according to the census, real estate should be banned from foreign buyers buying, this could affect you for the next two years as of January 1st, 2023. Watch our video on that. Then there's the new regulations from the Strata Property Act in British Columbia, banning rental restrictions and age restrictions on all strata properties in BC. Now that may initially seem like that would create more sales. However, we've seen in some cases that hasn't been the case. We have some folks wanting a no kids atmosphere yet aren't quite 55 years old. So they don't wish to buy in a certain complex that don't have those restrictions in place anymore. Because if you watch our video here, it explains that only 55 plus can be enforced now. We also have another situation where some other folks want to buy in a certain building. However, that building is now looking to enact a 55 plus restriction when there was a 19 plus restriction before. So 19 plus is now banned, but 55 plus is okay. So there's confusion from the buyers and sales that would have otherwise happened have now disappeared because of these strata regulations. Thirdly, there's the BC home buyer rescission period regulation, which is endeavoring to cool off an already cooled off market, or just watch our video on the rescission period here. Apparently, when in doubt, enact a bunch of new regulations to confuse buyers, sellers, realtors, even lawyers are confused and don't have answers to some of the fine points of these new regulations. Anyhow, we have done our best to explain with our videos, the regulations, the effectiveness of these regulations have yet to be seen, of course, and as time goes on, we'll see what happens. Absorption crept over the 15% in February to 17.17% for all property types, which is nice to see. That's more in the balanced market territory than the buyer's market territory it was last month. It's a bit surprisingly, we have a few multiple offers in the market again in certain areas. So what does this mean to you as a buyer? The number of sales are down from last year, 45%. So let's take a moment to look at all three areas. North Okanagan, as I said, down 45% year over year. Central Okanagan down by 52.63% and the shoe swap down 62.96%. What this says is that the demand for homes in these three areas has decreased dramatically. 
Well, because of the rise in interest rates, of course. As interest rates rise, fewer and fewer people can afford to buy a house. Yes, buyers' rates are up, however, Previous to this year, sellers have had the power to dictate to buyers what their house is going to sell for. Now, buyers, you have a choice. The market has shifted to a more balanced market and in some places, as we discussed last month, a buyer's market. Sellers have had and will have to get more aggressive in the price of their homes to compete with other sellers and to attract a buyer, you. Sellers, of course, can refuse to accept that new reality that the price of their house has come down, maybe a little slightly, maybe a little more than slightly. However, those sellers are just going to sit on the market with no offers. For you, Mr. and Mrs. Buyer, this is a good thing. There is more inventory to look at, more houses to choose from, and in some cases, you can actually bargain with the seller. Sellers, as I just said, the market is not what it was, and it's slipping away a little bit at a time. Not to say the market isn't still good for you. I mean, it is, it's just not where it was. It's not a market where you can price way above the market and wait for the price to catch up with you or wait for the market price to catch up with you because prices aren't increasing. And as we talked about last month, you always have to price ahead of the market in any market to affect a sale. There are always three things that need to come into alignment for you as a seller in order to affect a sale, exposure, condition, price. If one of these things is out of whack, your home won't sell. So if the condition of your home is bad, and that includes things like location on a busy highway, or a suspect foundation, or a weird layout, you can't easily change those things, or you can't simply just change those things at all. However, you can create interest and an offer by adjusting your price. Condition down, price down. And vice versa, if you live in a quiet, popular cul-de-sac and your house shows like a show home, condition up, price up. And do remember, your realtor can only control one of those things, and that is exposure. Saying that if you have great condition and great price and terrible exposure, sure, your house may very well still sell. However, you don't want it just to sell. You want it to sell for top dollar, not a mediocre price. And that is where you have to ensure you choose the realtor with the best exposure to expose your home far and wide. I don't mean just on realtor.ca, the MLS is only one tool in a whole toolbox full of real exposure. And if you want to know what real exposure means and how our group consistently sells our homes, our listings for more, please contact us. We would be happy to show you how we do what we do and get those consistent results. Again, if you're looking for clarity on the new Canada-wide foreign buyer ban and wondering if Vernon and the whole area is included, well, it is. However, also have a look at our video entitled The Foreign Buyer Ban on Canadian Real Estate Explained. Or call us and we can bring you up to speed and just add salt. See you next month.